Hello, this is Dr. Angela Gala, and I am here today to talk to you about eating mindfully. Here is this question. When was the last time you enjoyed a really quiet, peaceful, familiar meal without any interruption? If you can't remember, you're hardly alone. These days, eating a leisurely meal is a rare luxury. Sadly for many people, eating on the run has become the norm. They gobble down meals while they text their friends, catch up on their favorite TV shows, or maybe they are checking who's posting on Twitter and Facebook. Do you recognize that? Yet research reveals that the very act of eating in a hurry may contribute to overweight and obesity. It can take around 20 minutes or maybe longer for your brain to realize it's time to put down your fork. Eating too quickly doesn't allow this intricate system enough time to work, making it easy to overeat without even realizing it. Here's how. As you eat and drink, your stomach feels activating stretch receptors in your stomach. These receptors send society messages to your brain via the vagus nerve, which connects the brain to the stomach. Then, as food enters your small intestine, appetite hormones are released sending additional fullness messages to your brain. This process doesn't happen immediately though. There's another downside to distract eating that has nothing to do with the speed. Eating while you're busy doing other things robs you of the opportunity to fully enjoy your food so you cannot feel completely satisfied or you may not feel completely satisfied and may keep on eating in an attempt to gain satisfaction. Mindful eating is the act of fully focusing on your food as you eat. It encourages you to pay closer attention to the tastes, smells, and textures of your food as well as your body's hunger and satiety goods. As basic as it sounds, this practice is surprisingly powerful in one small study, 10 obese volunteers enrolled in a weekly mindful eating classes that focused on listening to their feelings of hunger and fullness. They also paid close attention to their cravings and emotions. Not only did the participants drop an average of nine pounds by the end of the three months program, but they also reported less hunger, stress, anxiety, depression, and binge eating. It is so worth creating that environment that will really help you to enjoy your food and at the same time, allowing your body to take real benefit and advantage of the nutrients that you are providing by eating. So savoring the flavors and aromas of your food and mindful eating are the best ways to make it happen. So here are some advices. Create a calm, beautiful space for eating. A clustered table doesn't, does not create the sense of inner tranquility you need in order to cultivate a peaceful mindset. At the beginning of your meal, set a timer for 20 minutes. Then, pace yourself to make you, your meal last until the timer goes off. It may take even a little bit longer than 20 minutes, maybe up to 30, and that'll be great. Let the answering machine take care of incoming phone calls, Put away all computers, phones, and reading materials so you can concentrate on your food. Turn off the television, another source of distraction, and it's so common that we just concentrate on watching TV while we are eating. We are just losing all, all that um, diversity of flavors and things that you just put on your food. So, savoring the flavors and aromas of your food and mindful eating means Eat only at the kitchen or dining room table to minimize distractions. It is also thinking about the bite of food you are actually eating at the moment. It's all too easy to think ahead to the next bite without focusing on the food that's actually in your mouth. Put your fork down between bites. Chew each mouthful 30 times. That will be, you can even make a um, challenge with your family members and talk about that, chewing the food about 30 times. And that is so effective because you will be sending that food ready to be digested. Before you help yourself to seconds 
uh, or dessert, ask yourself, are you really hungry? And this was Dr. Angela Gava with Dr. Health Gala Health Coaching, LLC.